I'm excited and I'm looking towards to this GCK. I don't know if I'm excited as I am. I'm very, very excited, very, very excited. When I think back at some of the testimonies that we've seen in you know, at the previous GCK, they're mind blowing. One particular, you know, uh, video that I cannot leave my mind was when a man, you know, who was crippled for many years, you know, tried to start working and, you know, he was just trying. Eventually, when he got to the front, the pastor there just said, walk, you can walk. And with so much energy, you can see the way he received that miracle. So, so exciting. You know, we've um, watched in Lagos, you know, where the woman, um, you know, who was dead came back to life. That was something mind blowing. I mean, this is something that we've read about in the Bible. Seeing it come to life in our days is very exciting for me. I can assure us testimony galore. Yes. As it moves from state to state, and from and now country to country, the story has been the same testimony. Just like the last one in Togo, just as our pastor said, so that see people were dropping, it was a festival of dropping crutches, festival of miracle. How did you see it? I was so excited. I don't know about you. I was too. It was a very surprising event. People were getting healed here and there. People dropping their crutches, people dropping their wheelchairs. It was a very great thing to see. You could see God working in different dimensions with people. And I'm glad to see the joy that people showed in those miracles. Ex exactly, exactly. Um, I can see us, we are joining from so many uh, places. I can see us from Ghana, I can see us from Delta, from Port Harcourt, from Taraba. Please, like I said, tell us where you are joining in from. We would love to know where you are joining us from and where you are watching from. Um, please don't go away. We would love to go on a short break and we'll be right back. Thank you. God, are you ready? for a glorious visitation through Christ. Yeah. Anything that is contrary to the fullness of the benefits of the promise of God in your life, it is cancelled in Jesus' name. The land is ripe for harvest, and the people are ready for a glorious visitation through Christ at the Independence Square Osu, Accra, Ghana. Thursday, 20th to Tuesday, 25th April, 2023. Time, 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. It is for you. I said it is for you. The global world has tightened their seatbelts and all interdenominational churches are ready. I believe that with the coming of Pastor Kumi, Ghana, and for that matter, the churches in Ghana will not be the same. The enabling grace and power for end time harvest is for all ministers and professionals on the morning of 21st, 22nd, 24th, and 25th days of the Global Crusade with Kumuyi at the Royal House Chapel, Kaneshi, at 0600 hours GMT. We need to stand up and join hands, put away all our denominationalism, put it away, come as a Christian. Youths of Ghana and youths across the world, are you ready for an upward to higher height on the morning of 22nd April, Saturday, all 600 hours GMT? Myself and my team are working so hard to bring the students for the crusade. I have my foot, foot soldiers here. And I want to assure you, Chairman, that Scripture Union is going to mobilize the students to be impacted with the gospel. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by singer and gospel artist Jared Anderson. Your call, we're on over. And I want you to set your mind like you set your alarm. GCK. Yeah, yeah, dear. GCK. The gospel to every creature. Somebody shout, Miracle Explosion. Jaksa to shake her. Father, my mind is not responding. She slumped and died. This 
story you are about to watch is about an 85-year-old woman raised from the dead, a testimony of God's Eden power. Itele is a bomb in Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria, witness the explosive miracles of God as a woman, Mama Alice Oladepo, who was confirmed dead, came back to life. It is like a movie. I can't explain it all. All I remember that day is that I was pressed. And as I was returning to the sitting room, where we were listening to the crusade, the sister I was with held my hand and noticed my temperature was high. As we sat down to continue, I blanked out. It all started with a request to listen to the DCLM radio in Yoruba language. One of the sisters in the church, Ruth Ogwai, helped to connect Mama. Mama came around and I opened the radio station, the radio for her in Yoruba language while I listened in the English language. So after, on getting to point three, Mama said she needed to visit the restroom. I took her down to the restroom. So after a while, I visited the restroom as well. Then my uncle was with us when we were listening to the message when the altar call was being made by GS. So from there, I was hearing my, I had my uncle calling onto Mama, 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 Mama. Now start praying, put your request before the Lord, start praying. But the calling was more than once. I was like somebody that was not sleeping before I left there. Even if the person was sleeping, definitely she would have wake up to start praying. But the calling was much. It was calling. It was calling her several times. So I have to rush down back to the sitting room. Then I jacked Mama because she was sitting down on the seat on the seat, I jacked her to shake her so that my mind is not responding. Then I begin to hit her chest at the back and at the front to see to, to see if there's any way to resuscitate her. Then the eye has gone up, the tongue has come out, and Mama was not responding anymore. There was said, now we're going to pray. And as I came to the pulpit here, and I announced that Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And then I said, we're going to pray now. And we began to pray before the final amen. That woman rose up. Fauziatu Oladipo, a Muslim, testified that she thought her mother was completely dead. In fact, she had closed her mother's eye. My name is Fausat Oladipo from Itele in Ogun State. I was called that mama was not talking anymore. After two hours, I laid her down so they can come to carry her in an ambulance to the morgue. When I got back, I saw people praying and pleading the blood of Jesus, and Mama also responded. When she woke up, she started shouting, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. She asked, why do we have so many people crowded here? We were praying before, and I was praying as well. I never knew I had gone. Mama told us not to cry anymore. That sorrow is not our portion. For Mama Alice Oladipo, she will continue to serve God. As she says, there is no other way. I want to enjoy those who don't know Jesus. 
to come and taste of his goodness. Because if I was an unbeliever, I wouldn't have been able to get this second chance to come back to life. I will also continue to pray for Pastor Kumuyi. His prayer over us gets answered. And my prayer over him will be answered too. He will not fail and he will not falter. In Jesus' mighty name. The ministration of the man of God is clear everywhere he goes. As it was said, with the power of Jesus, he's always doing good. Join the move of God in the ongoing global crusade and experience the unthinkable, the incredible power of the living God. God is still working. And in your life, it will work in Jesus' name. It has happened there, it will happen to you. Welcome back to the live studio of the GCK Publicity for this month. GCK talk show for this month. Welcome back. I have, I'm not here alone. I have a new set of guests here in the studio. I will also have another guest joining us virtually. So let me quickly introduce our guests, our physical guests that are right here with me in the studio. Welcome to the studio. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Esther Olabejo. And my name is Mercy Ogun. The GCK stands on three tripods. Yeah. We have the crusade itself, we have the Impact Academy, and we have the Minister's Conference. But most importantly, um, we are young people and the we have a session there for us. Yeah. That session is the Impact Academy. We've had various impact academics throughout the various GCKs that we've had, that we've had this year. We've had um, one year we were, we were inspired, motivated, charged and recharged to go and change our world. And we've also had different, you know, mind-blowing sessions in the GCK, right? Which part of the impact academy catches your attention the most? Okay, um, one of the, f I, I think I have two like favorite parts, the excellentia and where we get to, we have um, prominent people come speak to us, tell us about their, their life stories and how they've been able to succeed, give us success tips and all of that. I also love the part where the youth come out to showcase their talents and you know, we g since the beginning of the Impact Academy, we've been able to see that, oh, there's so much great talent in the church, and that's like one of my favorite parts in the Impact Academy. One of the most um, imp important parts of this program for us is that it refines us and it molds us. Um, I think the general edition, the, the theme was um, wonderfully made for excellence. So the Impact Academy is geared towards making us excellent young people. How do you think, has it affected you? Have you been transformed personally? Now I'm, I'm, I'm talking personally. What has been the impact of the Impact Academy on you, on your life? Like, has it changed you? Have you been refined? Have you been reformed? Let's know, how has it been for you? <coughs> okay, for me personally, as a person, the Impact Academy has had a huge impact on me. I remember January this year when I was listening to Wonderfully Made for Excellence. And something like triggered in me, like, I told myself, I was writing my 2023 goals, and I told myself, Esther, you can't be less. Like, watching the man of God pouring so much into us, industry experts, thought leaders, come, to come and show us how to make it, you know, how to succeed in our different niches. So I just wrote my goals down, and I, I was so determined to excel in each one. For the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and I'm very sure by the time I look at myself, by the end of this year, I'll be proud of myself. So it has had a huge impact on me. That's so nice to hear. 
No, the impact of the Impact Academy is that when we look back, we look back and say, wow, God has actually touched us. You know, we are actually better and we are not where we used to be before. Like I said um, um, also earlier, not too long, we were joined by someone virtually. I don't know if um, a virtual guest is here with us. You are most welcome, sir. Thank you very much for joining the GCK talk show for today. I blessed you. All right, sir. So we are talking specifically about the Impact Academy. So I would... I want our viewers to yeah. actually get to meet you. Well, my name is uh, Pastor Morgan, Ime Morgan. I am the state youth coordinator for Aquaibum State. I am a civil servant, and I work with the Maritime Academy of Nigeria as the assistant registrar. All right, thank you very much, sir. Now, specifically, we are looking at the GCK. Just like I said earlier, the GCK stands on three tripods. We are trying to look at that part of the GCK that focuses on young people. You know, God is actually interested in the lives of these young persons. So far, sir, what has been the impact of the GCK over the years of the young persons? Can you really give us a feel of how the GCK has actually I'll be of, of impact to young persons. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, when I look at the uh, benefit of the uh, impact, as the Impact Academy for the Youth, it, it reminds me of uh, Christ's parable, and that parable have to do with that of the mustard seed, where Jesus told us, of the man who found the mustard seed, and uh, it was the least among the seed, planted it, and eventually when it grew, it became one of the greatest tree that animals and birds are bought daring. That's how I look at the, the impact, the impact academy. It has actually had a tremendous effect on our youth, not just in the state, but nationally, beyond the boundary of our country, Nigeria, that's Africa, and then globally, it has had tremendous impact. Uh, let's look at some of the areas, like the spiritual angle of it. We have witnessed supernatural turnaround of youths who were hitherto bound in the pornography, drug addiction, and all kinds of crime will witness the mighty power of God transforming them in the Impact Academy program. Most of them today are workers. Some are undergoing workers training. This is as a result of the Impact program. People that the society wrote them off. But as they attended the program that our Father and the Lord mounted, many of them were touched. And today, we have them contributing positively to the society. Now, how about those who backslided, the backsliders and those who were lukewarm? We've seen many of them revive. We've seen many youth who, before the advent of uh, impact, they were actually looking at the church as not really having interest on the youths. They were looking out there that they want a place where there's fire, but uh, the, when the Impact Academy came on board, we've seen many of those cold, lukewarm, uninterested youths being on fire right now for the Lord. Many have been restored to the glory of God. And we also look at the area of uh, development of talent and potential. So many of our youths, through this impact, have been inspired, not only inspired, they've been able to also identify their God-given talent. And I tell you, they are really using it. Uh, let me share a testimony with you. In our state, the state government organized a competition for spoken word. And several youth from different places attended. But the, the, the person that actually came first, came first in that particular uh, program or competition was 
a youth from our church. He came first and was rewarded with a hundred thousand. That inspiration came from the Impact Academy. That shyness, that thinking of uh, I'm a nobody, is now a way. It's now a thing of the past. When you talk about our youth, they are courageous, they are bold, and they can face the crowd to talk. This is what the impact has uh, impacted on our youth. Uh, there's also another another competition that was held that has to do with the art and craft competition here in our state. I tell you that the person, two of our youth took second and third position in that particular art competition. So you see that in terms of talent and potential discovery and using it, impact have done so much on our youth. Creativity and entrepreneurship is also one of the areas that Impact Academy has, in fact, I mean, impacted on our youth. Many of our youths now, they are not just going after the head knowledge. They are now putting their hands to work. They are now becoming very creative, coming out with things that before the advent of Impact, we, did, we used to see some of them as, be as beggars. But you find now that they are creative, they are investing what they, you know, their talent to see how they can uh, be useful to themselves. Uh, let me also talk about the, the rebirth of what I call I can do spirit. The rebirth of I can do spirit. You know, a lot of our youths today are, are adjusted emotionally, adjusted psychologically, mentally, and uh, now they possess that spirit that tells them that you can do it. You are born to make a change. You are born for a purpose. And we see many of our youths, not just in our state, but across the globe, you know, bringing in their capacity to bear on, on life issues. And actually, they are breaking even in so many places. I also have some testimonies to share with us as a result of the impact. I want to say that about 75 of our youths were offered scholarship for skills acquisition, and this came as a result of the impact. Three of our youth currently traveled abroad there on scholarship as a result of the impact, not to mention more than hundreds that are born again, transformed, and they are contributing meaningfully in, this, in the media aspect of the church, in the choir, and also in the youth uh, ministry. I want to say glory be to God for this move that the Holy Spirit, through the servant of God, that generous of pretended as initiated. I can tell you that our youth, not just in the state, across the nation, across the globe, they are now aligned with that spirit of Isaacah, the people who understand the time and who know what to do and who are now commanding exploits in their different field. Thank you so very much. I believe that the Ghana edition, which is the 12th edition that is coming, is going to be mind-blowing. It's going to be explosive. I believe that our youths cannot afford to miss it. And I call on all youths to be a part of the 12th edition because is going to be a dimensional shift explosion academy. Thank you very much. It is indeed going to be a, an explosive shift. I'm so glad hearing that testimony and those testimonies that really the can do spirit is back. Our youth, by God's grace, are taking their rightful place in their community, in their various, in their countries in their counties, in their region, and in the house of God, their life has really been touched by the Impact Academy. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. But before we let, but before we let you go, we want to know, just give us, tell us, what should we be expecting? What should the youth listening to you right now be expecting? I will listen to what God has done before they would be anticipating, oh, so if I come, if I attend, what will God do for me? So we want you to tell us, what should they be expecting? Okay, I, I want to tell all the youths listening to me out there, the theme of this year's uh, uh, Impact Academy is upward to higher height. You can imagine what that means, upward to higher height. 
as you partake in this particular event, I can assure you, I can assure you that every youth that takes part in this program will be taken to a higher level. No matter what your condition is, no matter what you have been told, I can assure you that in this particular edition, the 12th edition that is going to be holding in Ghana, every youth will be lifted to higher level. Potentials will be discovered. People will be aligned with destiny. Youth will be lifted to a higher level and connected to the spirit of possibilities. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. Thank you for this exposition. And to the youth out there, you've heard Thank it. You. You've heard it very clearly, explicitly stated. You don't want to miss a date with destiny at this Impact Academy. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. You are so grateful. Back to my guest in the studio here. Yeah? We just heard what um, our online guest told us. Impact has been a big impact so far. I was listening to him, you know, reel out those testimonies, and I was just wowed. I was so amazed. I was happy that God is beginning to put us in the position where we are supposed to be in life and in the kingdom, because that's so important. Like you said, people who were they no longer interested in the things of God, are now ready and willing to serve God. How does that news, you know, does it, I'm so happy. I don't know about you. Yeah, I'm also very excited because, I mean, I remember the very first impact we had, and there was a message the man of God preached about moving from mediocrity to mastery by miracle. I mean, that message resonated so deep within me, and we even saw the testimonies that that particular message transformed the life of a particular um, young man and he stopped doing drugs, you know, he just became totally transformed. And these were people that their parents are literally even giving up on, you know, they were being tagged as nobodies. But this Impact Academy has indeed transformed the lives of youths around the world, globally, and we are happy to have it. It's a blessing indeed. It has indeed been a blessing. It has indeed been a blessing. Personally, I've, I've, I've not been left out. You know, I remember one of the excellentials. I listened to it and I was so moved. I was so touched. I had to, I had to pray. I really prayed. If God, I told God, I said, God, if you can touch this man, move him from where he was before, and now he's in this position, that's where I want to get to. If you've done it for him, you must do it for me. And I know that God has answered that prayer. Do you have such experience? I don't know if you want to share with us. Yeah, I've had, I have countless experiences. You know, I, I see that the Impact Academy is very timely, being that this is like the end time and we're expecting Christ to come in. So there's no better time to have had the Impact Academy. And um, I, s I also see that the GCK, um, the GCK program is like this gift that we cannot get enough from it's from God and every month is always in our bond. When you think, oh, I've seen enough, I've seen, I've gotten so much from this program, from maybe the um, Impact Academy, the the next month is coming with the bomb. But then, I've had personal experiences. I've had, I've been blessed, and I don't know if I would have prayed for something better. But I'm so glad that I'm part. I'm in this generation that I have to, I, I can attend the Impact Academy. So the Impact Academy is going to take place where, what time, so that um, the young person watching us, listening to us right now, will be able to prepare his our mind, you know, prepare his our time to be able to create time for, for the Impact Academy. Tell us, when is it going to come up? Okay, for this month's edition of the Impact Academy, the theme is Upward to Higher Heights, and it's going to be happening in Ghana, Accra, Ghana, from the 20th to 25th of April. That's when GCK would be happening, but the Impact Academy comes up on a Saturday, 
and it's going to be mind-blowing you know it's going to be rich it's going to be full of blessings from god it's indeed going to be rich and full of blessings i beg us if you're a young person out there watching us please don't miss it it is a date with destiny i can tell you that for short sure. it's a date with destiny please make sure that you clear out your calendar you clear out your time to be at the impact academy and not only the impact academy make sure that you also attend the gck program from the beginning of the gck till the end of the gck independent square is going to be the place please don't miss it please don't miss it. in case in case for any reason you won't be in accra ghana you can join us online join join virtually across all social media platforms and i believe that god will bless you not only that we are going to have physical locations scattered around where you are please make sure that you join you join a physical location close to you and attend the impact academy and attend gck before we um we round up for today i would want to to get uh, the final word from from our guest um tell tell um, our, our viewers um what they should expect okay for this month's impact academy i want to be i want to implore you to come on come all make it a date with jesus don't just think it's cliche you know those things they say out there this is something that is real. It's happening. Jesus is transforming lives. We wouldn't be here seated and talking to you if we have not been recipients of the favor of God by reason of this beautiful initiative. So I want to implore you to come with your heart believing that it is at this very month's edition you receive that answer you've been praying for. And I believe that Jesus will meet you there. God bless you. You will receive that answer you have been waiting for. Amen. Jesus will meet you there. Thank you very much for joining this live broadcast of the GCK talk show. God bless you as you make it a date with God at this month's edition of the GCK. Thank you very much. God, are you ready? For a glorious visitation through Christ. Yeah. Anything that is contrary to the fullness of the benefits of the promise of God in your life, it is cancelled in Jesus' name. The land is ripe for harvest, and the people are ready for a glorious visitation through Christ at the Independent Square Osu, Accra, Ghana. Thursday, 20th to Tuesday, 25th April 2023. Time 1600 hours GMT daily and all 700 hours GMT on Sunday. It is for you. I said it is for you. The global world has tightened their seat belts and all interdenominational churches are ready. I believe that with the coming of Pastor Kumi, Ghana, and for that matter, the churches in Ghana will not be the same. The enabling grace and power for end time harvest is for all ministers and professionals on the morning of 21st, 22nd, 24th and 25th days of the Global Crusade with Kumui at the Royal House Chapel, Kaneshi at all 600 hours GMT. We need to stand up and join hands, put away all our denominationalism, put it away, come as a Christian. Youth of Ghana and youth across the world, are you ready for an upward to higher height on the morning of 22nd April, Saturday, all 600 hours GMT? Myself and my team are working so hard to bring the students for the crusade. I have my foot, foot soldiers here. And I want to assure you, Chairman, that Scripture Union is going to mobilize the students to be impacted with the gospel. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by singer and gospel artist Jared Anderson. Your call, we're on over. And I want you to set your mind like you set your alarm. GCK, 
Jaya Dia. GCK, the gospel to every creature. This is talk show. Uh, we are in the part two of this talk show. In this session, we will be doing, we'll be talking about the minister's conference. The GCK, just like I said earlier, is the global crusade with Kumui. And we are going to be looking at the minister's conference. Just as God is empowering the young persons, God is not also leaving out the ministers because this is the um, end time. Our ministers are get prepared to be equipped to get into the end time harvest. This month edition is tagged Enabling Grace and Power for the End Time Harvest. And in the minister's conference that we've had in time past, God has energized ministers and ministers all around have been blessed by God. The minister's conference is an interdenominational um, meeting where pastors, leaders, ministers um, are trained and empowered by God. We, we are not... Um, we, we, are, we are going to join um, our physical guests. We are, we, are, we are going to have guests um, who, are, who are to join us. And our, and our guests are also, um, just like we had before, we are, we are going to have... Um, we are going to have guests um, who are going to join us virtually. But before we connect with our guests, we want to have this short break. Please don't go away. Um, stay right there. We'll be right back. Everywhere you go, you meet people overwhelmed by life's struggle. Yes, the hardship, the sickness, the pain. Look to your left and right, and you can feel the heart's longing for an escape, searching for answers. Hello, Ghana. The GCK flight comes to the coastal capital city of Accra in Ghana. The land of freedom and rich diversity is set to experience God's freedom and diverse miracles. From around the world, we connect with international gospel evangelist, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumye at the April edition of the Global Crusade themed glorious visitation from Christ. Get set to encounter the wonder-working power of Jesus Christ as he visits us from April 20th through April 25th, 2023 at 1600 hours GMT daily and global worship service at 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. An exclusive conference for Christian ministers, church workers, and corporate professionals will be held on April 21st 22nd, 24th, and 25th, where Jesus Christ anoints them with enabling grace and power for end time harvest. The young eagles are not left behind too. At the Impact Academy for teenagers, campus students, and young adults on April 22nd, the GCK convener will propel them to the sky and fly upward to higher heights. Out of Independent Square, Accra, Ghana, the word of power would be broadcast worldwide through satellite, radio, TV, and the GCK social media platforms. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by Jared Anderson. It is your time for a life-changing experience. God, are you ready for a 
glorious visitation through Christ. Anything that is contrary to the fullness of the benefits of the promise of God in your life, it is cancelled in Jesus' name. The land is ripe for harvest and the people are ready for a glorious visitation through Christ at the Independence Square Osu, Accra, Ghana. Thursday, 20th to Tuesday, 25th April 2023. Time, 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. It is for you. I said it is for you. The global world has tightened their seatbelts and all interdenominational churches are ready. I believe that with the coming of Pastor Kumi, Ghana, and for that matter, the churches in Ghana will not be the same. The enabling grace and power for end time harvest is for all ministers and professionals on the morning of 21st, 22nd, 24th, and 25th days of the Global Crusade with Kumui at the Royal House Chapel, Kanishi, at all 600 hours GMT. We need to stand up and join hands, put away all our denominationalism, put it away, come as a Christian. Youths of Ghana and youths across the world, are you ready for an upward to higher height on the morning of 22nd April, Saturday, all 600 hours GMT? Myself and my team are working so hard to bring the students for the crusade. I have my foot, foot soldiers here. And I want to assure you, Chairman, that Scripture Union is going to mobilize the students to be impacted with the gospel. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by singer and gospel artist Jared Anderson. Your call for run over. And I want you to set your mind like you set your alarm. GCK. Yeah, yeah, dear. GCK. The gospel to every creature. Do not come up now. Wait, 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 wait.
ठीक है All right, welcome back to the GCK publicity talk show. Just like uh, I said before, we went on that short break. We are actually going to be talking about the minister's conference in this second segment of the show. But I'm not alone. I am here with with a co-anchor. I will be introducing him very soon. You are very welcome, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's so good to be with you. Can you hear me? No? Talk to our audience. Yeah, my name is Sunday Medigu. Thank you. Right. Welcome, um, Brother Sunday Medigu. We are glad to have you here. So, like I said earlier, before I introduced you, we'll be talking about the Minister's Conference. And the Minister's Conference is the segment of the GCK that is geared towards equipping ministers for the end time harvest, just like our thing. But before we get into the ministers' conference for this month pro uh, properly, we have had um, three uh, ministers' conferences before now. And uh, the first one um, we had was um, Encounter Wonders in Life and Ministry. We also had the Awaited Revival in this last day. We also have Equipped for Wonders. In all of these, God was specifically preparing um, leaders, workers, church leaders to be able to fit into this end time harvest. Um, it, is, it is so great an harvest and God needs to equip um, ministers for it. What do you think about this, sir? Yeah, the ministers conference has been, has been a very great um, uh, program uh, because the pastor in that, those sessions have focused on ministers, equipping them for harvest, equi equipping them for ministry. Uh, because it's a time where ministers are, are, are come together uh, and as an experienced minister, Holy Ghost field, and someone that God has used to do great wonders, uh, he has uh, taken time to give nuggets and to also impart right, uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the steps and also uh, the, what the ministers need to excel in a time like this because we're in a time where uh, uh, a lot of things are happening, and ministers need uh, to be aware uh, of the things that they need to equip themselves with to really make impact in a time like this. We saw the, uh, one of the ministers conferences where pastor was practically telling us about the things that helped him in ministry. When he started um, um, crusades, how he listened to some other ministers messages uh, also books that he read. So more like giving us the, uh, the secrets of what has helped him to be who he is now. So I feel that that's, that's a very great thing and not, not many people want to do that. But he has seen us, our ministers, as his children. And he wants us to do more than what he has actually done. And I really uh, I felt touched by that. And we have had a lot of messages equipping us for ministry also preparing us for the end time revival, also end time harvest. A lot of souls are perishing. And ministers need to refoc uh, uh, refocus because what we are called to do is ev uh, evangelism. We you know, are not ca called to preach prosperity or any other thing. Souls are perishing. And uh, Christ Christ said, I must walk the work of him that sent me while it is uh, day. Uh, so we need to uh, put the work now and harvest the souls. That's the passion of the pastor. If you hear him preaching, hear him speaking, all ministers have to wake up and focus on the Great Commission. That, that's what practically we are called to do. Thank you. That's what we are particularly called to do. Passion for souls and getting involved in the end time harvest. We are not only here in the studio, we also have um, virtual guests, our pastors and ministers who are going to join us virtually. We have Pastor Bayo Oyeyemi from Lagos. We also have Pastor Martin. Um, that will also join us. Once I'm sure that we have them um, on, we'll uh, bring them on. Um, I don't know if we have Pastor Bayo or Yemi from, from Lagos, would would love to, to connect with him. So we can actually talk about this uh, minister's conference because 
it is it is what is um, really the heartbeat of Christ, like you said, ministers being equipped to actually go out and win souls for Christ. You know, if this harvest is not, if we don't go into this harvest, the harvest might just waste. Yeah. And this is life souls of people that are at the brink of going to hell. And we will not be fulfilling the Great Commission if we just allow these souls go into hell. So uh, we are waiting for um, our pastor, Pastor Bayo Oyeyemi, if he's on with us, so we can um, have a chat with him. So, hello, sir. Thank can you hear for you? having me. Oh, thank uh, you very yeah, much, sir. We can hear you. You are doing a great job. All right, sir. Thank you very much for um, taking out of your busy schedule to actually join us on the GCK Publicity Talk Show for today. Um, just like I said earlier, we're actually looking at the Minister's um, Conference, um, which is a very integral part of the GCK. Um, we've, we've had three editions this year, and this is the fourth one. So I want to hear from you um, what the Minister's Conference has been uh, so far. The first thing I want to comment on is that uh, the divine package that God has prepared for this end time. We've been, read, we've been reading about end time in the Bible, last day, and so on like that. But I think this divine platform of the GCK that God has brought is to show us the love that God is having for this generation. Not only for this generation, they're equipping people that we, God will use as instruments. So when we talk about great things that God has done, I will talk about, let's talk about healing. When you talk about healing, uh, physically, there are some ministers who are sick who have been healed. Many have been healed by the grace of God through the anointing power on the Corbina. And God, uh, God, God favored many. Not only healing, in the aspect of physical what about the ministry? What about the congregation? What about professionals? That their professions have been healed because they receive impartation from this minister's conference and things are turning around. Uh, when we talk about the, what about the deliverances here and there? We talk about what God has been doing, especially in the last two ones, how God handed over the master key of faith in this last day revival not only that power evangelism you can see that many people is like I'm, I'm one of the possessors i'm one of the partakers by the grace of god and i can see what god is doing in my ministry now uh, the all the cool end or the low end of my life they're now very, very high through the harvesting in the last day through the healing revival you know the man of god came the uh, the covenant came with great uh, great inspiration to hand over power and to transfer power to the men and women of God that God is going to use this, this uh, during this uh, uh, end time revival. What about the promised revival outpouring in the last days? The freshness, uh, anointing of the Holy Ghost said from Togo, even from Cameroon, the last one, we had making the weak strong in the ministry. It was so powerful. All the area of weakness in the life of ministers, those who are really there, that's why I'm encouraging those who are not there, you have not missed much. Join this one that is coming up this month. It has been a powerful time. What about a, a divine power empowerment for a fruitful ministries? The ministry have been, you know, ministry of those who have been taking part, especially the one at Cameroon, they have been experiencing fruitfulness in ministry. What about the wonder of worms transformed to a uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, weapons. God has raised many men of God to become great weapons in the hands of God. And that is telling us there is hope for this generation. For this generation. And um, that's, that's the beautiful thing about the GCK. The GCK gives hope to all spectrum. But um, before we continue, I want to, um, to know if our pastor, Pastor Martin, is um, right there with us. Yes, I'm right here. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Um, we are glad that you took out of your time to join us. We are 
actually talking about the minister's conference arm of the GCK. How has it been for you personally? Yes. We want to know how it has been for you personally as a minister of God, as um, someone who has been commissioned into the end time harvest. What has been the impact of the minister's conference on you and on your ministry? Oh, it has been a time of uh, total revival. And uh, it has been a very great opportunity for a refreshing in my ministry. As you can see, I am here with my muffler. That shows that uh, the equipment for wonders in ministry continues. And uh, after that great impartation, we are experiencing further wonders in our ministry. So the minister conference is an opportunity to get the impactation from one who has been ministering for more than five decades, a minister who is standing and is still having a fruitful ministry. Uh, we did not just attend the minister's uh, section, but we have what I can call the practical section during the crusade. We had the word of God preached and souls responded and we saw the miracles that break out from the ministry of this, our August guest. In fact, in Cameroon, we said, crutches were crashing. And so many ministers of God said their ministries have revived. And so many of them were backing out. In fact, they are actually packing in to refire. Just like I have been refired in fact, my ministry has experienced another dimension. So words cannot really express. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, the last post of the GCK, uh, can you share with us uh, what should be the expectations of the ministers across the globe, and especially those in Ghana? Because we're going to be having ministers from other churches. It's a, it's a purely inter interdenominational program. Can you, as the last host, can you give them a tip of the iceberg of what they are going to be expecting? Thank you, sir. I just want to tell those who will be at the Alpha location in Ghana and those who will be connecting from all the continents and subcontinents of the world that this minister's conference dubbed um, uh, a greater... I, I just want to make you to understand that it is going to be a very great opportunity. It's a time when people in uh, people who hook up to this uh, uh, minister's conference are going to be refreshed. They are going to be strengthened in their work with God. And it is not only for ministers, it is for ministers, it is for church workers, and it is also for professionals in different fields. So you can look at the caption, enabling grace and power for end time harvest, which is starting from the 24th to the 25th. So I want to make you understand that there's going to be grace for refreshing. There's going to be grace for strength. And there is going to be an impartation for different works in your own ministry. And the Lord, through the convener, or the host pastor, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, is going to make you to know how to network with other like-minded ministers and individuals and receive practical guidance on how to maximize your potentials in your area of service. And we look forward to welcoming you to this Greater Ministers Conference. I call it Greater Ministers Conference because the other ones which have passed, they were great. And uh, the ones which have passed recently is also great, and it was explosive. But here in Ghana, you are going to have the greater one that is going to take you higher to another level. Imagine grace. What can you do without grace? It takes the grace of God for you to continue. 
It takes the grace of God for you to hold on. That prayer life that has been weak will be revived. That ministerial life that people have become familiar with, and there is no new and fresh anointing, you are going to get it in this minister's conference. By the time you get there and come out, your ministry, your life, and your family, and the entire church will not remain the same again. Thank you very much, sir. Just as you said, sir, their lives, their ministry will not remain the same. Um, very quickly, um, to our pastor, Pastor Bayo Oyeyemi, what would you um, say to a minister, perhaps just watching us right now, and he's feeling so bad that his ministry is not growing, you know, he's not really seeing the presence of God in his ministry, or for a for a professional that just feels so dry and weak, what do you tell to that um, individual or to that minister as regards this forthcoming uh, program? Thank you very much. I think this thing speaks for itself. I think God intentionally and deliberately gave the title, enabling grace and power. Grace and power. When you talk about grace and power, it will bring about revival in their lives. It will bring about recovery, renewal. It will bring about restoration from all the, from whatever we had, wherever they have lost. It will bring about resurgence, exploit, and in fact, there's going to be explosion in ministry and all professions. I believe by the grace of God, taking part in this one with what I'm saying now, the, with what we are reading with the team, by the special grace of God, there will be explosion in the ministry and all our professions. So I encourage everyone everywhere, whether if you can join through the, uh, what do you call it, social media platforms, join uh, or the nearest location. Churches can come together. They do that in Lagos now. You can encourage, encourage other people because the testimony is not individual now. We want a global testimony of great revival, great recovery, great renewal, great restoration. Gather people together everywhere. We are the gather. You join them or you mobilize people every corner, everywhere all over the world. Whatever you can do to help this generation, God will reward you abundantly. And as you take part, I believe everybody will share testimonies by the grace of God. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. To the minister out there who is feeling dry, who is feeling empty, you just listened to our pastor. This is the time for you to come seek God, receive strength at this program. If you know any minister around you, you can tell them about the program, and God will bless you also as God also blesses them. Thank you very much, sirs, our pastors, Pastor Bayo Yeyemi, for your time. Um, thank you, Pastor Martin, too, for your time. We are indeed very grateful. Um, we would, would indeed go for a short break, and we'll be back. Please um, join us, and don't go away. Thank you. For a glorious visitation through Christ. Anything that is contrary to the fullness of the benefits of the promise of God in your life, it is cancelled in Jesus' name. The land is ripe for harvest, and the people are ready for a glorious visitation through Christ at the Independence Square Osu, Accra, Ghana. Thursday, 20th to Tuesday, 25th April 2023. Time 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. It is for you. I said it is for you. The global world has tightened their seatbelts and all interdenominational churches are ready. I believe that with the coming of Pastor Kumi, Ghana, and for that matter, the churches in Ghana will not be the same. The enabling grace and power for end time harvest is for all ministers and professionals on the morning of 21st, 22nd, 24th, and 25th days of the Global Crusade with Kumuyi at the Royal House Chapel, Kaneshi, at 0600 hours GMT. We need to stand up and join hands, put away all our denominationalism, put it away, come. As a Christian, youths of Ghana and youths across the world, are you ready 
for an upward to higher height on the morning of 22nd April, Saturday, all 600 hours GMT. Myself and my team are working so hard to bring the students for the crusade. I have my foot, foot soldiers here. And I want to assure you, Chairman, that Scripture Union is going to mobilize the students to be impacted with the gospel. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by singer and gospel artist Jared Anderson. Your call, we're on over. And I want you to set your mind like you set your alarm. GCK. Yeah, yeah, dear. GCK. The, the gospel, gospel to every creature. creature. Welcome back from the short break. Um, you are welcome. Before we went on the break, we connected and we heard from our pastor, Pastor Bayo Iemi and Pastor Martins, where they told us about the need um, for ministers to join the ministers conference. And they also spoke at length at, as, um, as, regard, as regards the importance of the ministers conference to anyone who is feeling dry and weak in ministry. We want to quickly go into the crusade itself, the, um, the GCK crusade, um, glorious visitation from Christ. This is, um, this crusade, like I've said earlier, is power packed and I don't want you to miss it. We also have our pastors um, who will be joining us virtually. Um, this, this crusade is going to, to be very great and I want you to come with big expectations, something you want God to do for you. Uh, very quickly, we'll be connecting with um, our guests virtually, uh, Pastor Kudumi from Abuja and Pastor Femi for Jelabi from Oyo State, while Pastor Kudumi is from Abuja. I, I want to quickly um, check if they are actually with us. So I don't know if they can hear us. Yes, yes. I can hear you. We can hear you loud and clear. Oh, thank you very much, sirs, for your time. Thank you for joining us on the GCK uh, publicity show for this month, uh, GCK. Um, very quickly, I would want to ask, sir, um, Pastor Kudumi, what has been the um, experience so far, generally, holistically, looking at the GCK um, so far um, over the period that we've had it? Thank you very much. Um, the GCK has been on now for quite a while. And um, the wind that is blowing is the wind of revival. And it's been felt in every quarter, every part of the world, every language, every country is feeling the impact of this great move of God. It's a time of harvest. It's a time of miracles, it's a time of salvation, it's a time of deliverance, it's a time of redemption for so many people. And uh, people that probably have given up hope, now they have something to look up to. So many people have been delivered. And so many people that, you know, uh, the devil had bound, now have been released. And as the man of God, the convener of the GCK goes from country to country, he leaves behind a trail of testimonies, lives that have been transformed, people who have met Christ, and you know now they have hope by the grace of God. It has been a wonderful time. And um, by the grace of God, what we have seen is that everywhere the GCK takes place, there's always the manifestation of the power of God. It's always there. And as we are looking forward to this Ghana crusade, we know that it has been titled Glorious Visitation from Christ. We believe the Lord that God will do even greater things in the lives of the people. And you see, one thing that is unique about the GCK is that it does not only bring, you know, spiritual renewal, transformation and restoration to the lives of the people. But 
in terms of their bodies, physical bodies, in terms of their emotions, in terms of every part, every aspect of their lives. The students are being touched, the professionals are being touched, the ministers are being touched, and the children are being touched. We've seen children coming out to testify of what God has done in their lives. And in terms of spiritually, salvation is the greatest miracle you could have. And then physically also, normally all hope is lost when somebody is dead, certified dead. The next thing is to have him buried. But we've seen miracles happening through the GCK that people who are dead, certified dead, are brought back to life. This is a wonderful time in the history of this world. God is doing great things, and he will do greater things. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. God is indeed doing great things, and he would indeed do greater things in this forthcoming GCK. Um, very quickly, um, Pastor Femi Ojelabi from Oyo State, I, I really want to, to get your insights into what people holistically now, what they should be looking forward to um, as they prepare to attend this month GCK. Thank you for having me. The GCK of this month titled Glorious Visitation from Christ is a whole package. Just like you see the GCK, I see the GCK as like an oak tree with branches of blessings. And once you come to that tree, you only need to look at which branch produces the fruit that you are looking for. You want salvation, it's there. You want healing, it's there. You want deliverance, it's there. And every GCK has its diversity of miracles. All you need to do is to prepare. If your boss wants to visit, you know, you know how you prepare. If your pastor wants to visit, you know how to prepare. Now Christ himself wants to pay a visit to you, not an ordinary visit, but a glorious visit. So you prepare your heart, you prepare your mind. The GCK, I call it a solution to every situation. So there is no condition in your life, there is no situation in your life, no matter what you have tried, no matter the effort you have made, see Jesus Christ as the final solution and prepare to attend people because I know there is a specific miracle, there is a specific blessing that is awaiting you. And it's, it is not just limited to the alpha location. We can connect from every part of the world. It's a global phenomenon. God is doing miracle through the man of God online. You can connect through our SMP, our social media platform. God is there. And so no matter your situation, no matter your condition, the power of God is available. The power of God is alive. This is a move of God. It's an end-time revival. And we need to come to that tree and just look at which of the branches produces the fruit I'm looking for. And then just pluck, and then you will never remain the same again. Your testimony is going to be great. It's going to be mighty. It is going to be unprecedented in the mighty name of God Christ. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. From the 20th of this month to the 25th of this month, April 2023, Accra, Ghana is going to experience the glorious visitation from Christ. I want us to hear from the pastor who is going to be the host of this powerful program this month. So very quickly, I would want um, Pastor um, Dodo from um, Ghana, the national pastor from, from Ghana, if he's, if he's right there with us, so that we can have um, an on-the-spot feel of what is going on right now in Ghana. You know, the, the excitement is everywhere, but it would be good, it would be, you would feel it first hand if you can hear from somebody who is right there on ground and who else to give us what is happening right on ground than our pastor, Pastor Dodo. 
Uh, Pastor Dodo, sir, please, are you there with us? We'd love to hear from you. Oh, by the grace of God, I'm around. Oh, thank, thank you, you very, very much, much for this great opportunity. Uh, by the grace of God, we are seriously preparing for this great and glorious program. As I'm talking now, we are at the venue. That's the alpha location where the program will be held. So we are preparing. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, a very quick one. I would want to know, what's the level of excitement in Ghana? Are they as excited as people from other parts of the world? Because Ghana is going to play host to this program this time around. I really want to have a feel of the pulse of the people in Ghana. So tell us, how is the excitement level in Ghana? Uh, by God's grace, uh, everywhere people hear about the program, they are very much excited. Apart from the members of Deeper Life in Ghana, and especially in Accra, where the program is going to be held, these other churches who are giving serious support to us as far as this program is connected, I can say that many of them are even much more excited than the members of Deeper Life. Yes, now our coordinator for the secretariat was telling us that he got down at the airport from one of the regions, and when the people saw the dress he was wearing showing GC, GCK, many of the people started shouting and they were very much excited. So I can say that all over the excitement is going on and is seen in the lives of the people. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Pastor. Uh, I can also uh, imagine the level of excitement in Ghana playing host uh, to uh, the GCK. Uh, I would love to uh, hear from you, sir. Uh, we have talked about the minister's conference, we have talked about the impact. Can you also share with us uh, the level of preparation, the engagement of ministers of other churches, and also the engagement with uh, student organizations, student bodies to bring the youth for both uh, for the impact academy and the ministers, professionals, and church workers for the minister's conference? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, concerning this program, we have had uh, some meetings with the outside churches. And the first one we called uh, media lunch or pre-media lunch. And uh, we were very much surprised to see how the ministers turned up. And uh, almost every one of them who were given the chance to talk about the program, we saw the respect they had for the convener of GCK our Father and the Lord, the person of Pastor Dr. W.F. Komoyi, and the, how the people were ready to receive him. And apart from that, they see that since he started, he has been standing upon holiness. And it's not just preaching with the mouth. They see this holiness in his life. And uh, if there is any need in the world today, as far as Christianity is concerned, I think holiness is the urgent need for many people. So we saw that the people really expressed their commitment and support for the program, and it was just wonderful. After that, we had another one we call Media Lunch. And you can, I cannot just stand here to tell you what went on. The ministers turned up. I'm talking of ministers who have name, who have position, who have power as far as Christianity is concerned in Ghana. And all of them are solidly behind us to ensure that this program will become a success. So already the grounds have been prepared where the ministers, church workers, and professionals conference is going to take place. And uh, it was held in one of the big churches in the city. And uh, the people have given serious support, everything we want to do to make the place convenient for our convener, as well as all the ministers who will be gathering there, they have given us a chance. And today, we specifically sent some of our electronic people to go and worship with them. And the report they gave to me when they came back was that 
The people are excited. The pastor himself introduced the program to his members, thousands of them, and encouraged all of them to come to the program, especially the minister's conference going to be held there, as well as the crusade. So you can see that from all angles, the people are ready. I strongly believe God too is going to uh, is ready to release blessings on the youth impact. You know, Scripture Union have been in the forefront of reaching out to the youth. So the leader in Ghana during that media launch gave us promise, and I think the advert we are making it, you can hear his voice also there. I will make sure that. He will really mobilize the youth and in schools wherever we have been some of them have even decided to offer buses to bring their students and all those things so from all around all angles god is really helping us and we are believing that it's going to be one of the greatest program programs held in deeper life and in the global crusade worldwide thank you very much also believing and we are also assured that God will move mightily in this program. Um, thank you very much, sir, for your time. We are indeed very grateful. Thank you for uh, spending our time to actually talk to us, to tell us how far as regards preparation and um, engagement and um, um, all around um, preparations for this month's GCK. Thank you very much, sir. We are indeed grateful. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you also. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. I haven't spoken with our pastors um, as regards the uh, minister's um, conference and um, the general crusade. Um, I would, I really want to, to ask um, my, my co-host here. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, you know, I haven't heard all the reports we've, we've heard on the spot um, analysis and trying to look at how far God has helped us to this present time, I'm just imagine to see or to, or to try to think of how the move of God this time around will be so great. I can feel it's going to be very great. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, by the grace of God, we have seen that from GCK to GCK, the current GCK, uh, God normally, uh, the move of God uh, is normally very, very great and powerful. And now we're expecting a glorious visitation uh, from Christ. Uh, at this GCK, I, uh, I just imagine the level of miracle, the level of uh, things that God is going to do. I see a lot of sinners coming to Christ. I see a spiritual visitation. I see a lot of physical visitation in the area of health challenges and um, the likes. I also see transformation of lives. We have heard testimonies about how youths were, were doing some uh, untoward things now. They are, yeah, they are changed change and transformed. Yes. Yes. I also have a personal testimony from the impact. I, uh, a, I had a session with the impact uh, youths uh, in January of uh, 2022 uh, where we, that we had in Lagos. And uh, I spotted a developer from there. And by grace of God, he has been helping uh, in the work. And God has also promoted him in his, uh, his, his place of work. So the impact has been an uh, eye opener for the youth and for the crusade. I also see uh, a time of spiritual reawakening. You know, some, many people have gone dry uh, spiritually, uh, talking about the members and uh, the likes. Uh, this is a time for us to come for proper visitation from Christ. And the program will be holding across the world, uh, but the after location will be at Ghana. I, uh, I, I can't just fathom uh, what God is going to do at this program. I know that God is preparing our pastor especially for this program. And if you are watching me out there, I want to assure you that whatever you are going through, maybe you're having a health challenge, you are depressed, you are, you are in bondage of devil, whatever it is that you are going through, this is your time of visitation, and this is your time of deliverance. And if you have been living in sin, you are, you are battled, you have been rising and falling, by the grace of God, this time, you are going to receive grace to live above sin, and the Lord is going to touch you mightily in Jesus' name. The Lord is going to touch you mightily, but you need to be there so that God will meet you right there and touch you. I can't thank you so much for spending so much time to join us on this month's 
GCK publicity talk show. Thank you so much for your time. And I can assure you that this crusade is going to be a crusade with a difference. Please make it a point of duty to be there. Clear out your calendar. Make sure you are there. Be you an adult, a child, a, a teenager, a core member, a minister. You have a lot of things in store that God has packed down for you. Don't miss it. Prepare your mind to be there. Prepare yourself also physically to be there. And if you're in Ghana, and if you're in Ghana, I think you should, if you count yourself, double privilege to be there at the yeah, live yeah. location. Please do everything within your power to be there. And God bless you. From us here in the studio, thanks for joining us. We see you in the crusade. Don't miss it. God bless you. God saved my soul and saved me from depression. Um, some months back, I had a very serious depression. I had a lot of challenges left, right, and at a point, I thought about ending it all. I thought about just driving down to Tordela Bridge and just park my car and then jump inside. For cases of depression, 